So uh, this is uh, the last step of aerobic respiration that is oxidative phosphorylation. In glycolysis and Krebs cycle, FADH2, NADH2, whatever we got so far, they dissociated and when the electrons moved through electron transport chain, we saw that every time energy was released, a pair of proton from matrix was pumped into the outer compartment or intermembrane space. So, what is the situation in the intermembrane space right now? This is one crystal which we are drawing here because we want to have a feel of the previous step also. This is the outer membrane, the inner membrane and the fold on the inner membrane that is crista. And let us also draw the F0, F1 particle so that we can straight away go to the next step also. These are F0, F1 particles. This is the F0 one. This is the F1 particle. And this is known as the stock of the particle. Now, if electron transport chain was taking place here in this membrane, that means electron was moving here and at various places every time a pair of proton was pumped in. So this outer compartment has high concentration of protons. Outer compartment or the intermembrane space and this is the inner membrane. And this structure which we have seen is the crista. Now, these protons, they tend to go back. They are at a higher concentration here. And when they go back to their normal concentration level, they would release energy. So when this proton moves, it can move only through these particles. So these act as channels or gates for the entry of proton back into the matrix. So when this proton goes, we are showing a wavy line which represents that there is some energy which is possessed by the proton. Now when it passes through the F1 particle which also acts as ATPase that is enzyme which is going to hydrolyze ATP or help in synthesis of ATP. So it is helping in synthesis of ATP here. This energy will be used to join ADP with inorganic phosphate and by this ATPase, this will be converted into ATP. That means the energy is synthesized. Let me just go over it one more time quickly. The pair of proton can come back only through F0, F1 particle. When it is coming back, it is bringing some energy. That energy is released at F1 particle. That energy is utilized to combine ADP diphosphate with the inorganic phosphate and we get triphosphate that is ATP synthesized. The enzyme which is required is called ATPase and that ATPase is nowhere else. It is the F1 particle itself which is, which is acting as ATPase. Now this proton has given the energy, so now we can show the straight line and this proton is back into the matrix. From 1 NADH to 3 pairs of protons were pumped out. When 1 pair goes back, we get 1 ATP. Second pair will give us 2nd ATP. 3 pairs, when 3 pairs go back, we get 3 ATPs. And that is why we said that 1 NADH2 is worth 3 ATP. So this is the place where we are able to encash those checks of NADH and FADH2. The difference between NADH2 and FADH2 is 
that when NADH2 releases electrons and it passes through electron transport chain, it releases energy at three places. At all three places, three pairs of protons will be pumped in, one every time. When these three protons go back, three ATPs are synthesized. When FADH2 dissociates, the energy which passes through the electron transport chain, it releases energy only at two places. That means at these two places, the protons will be pumped into the outer compartment. And when these two pairs go back, we get two ATPs. So NADH2 is worth three ATPs, FADH2 is worth two ATPs. And that is why the calculation is that way. Now let us talk about the summary of energy or let us say the balance sheet of energy gain in aerobic respiration.